How many people did they have? Okay, where was it? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, no, it wasn't aware of it. In just over two hours time, the first steps of a major hikoi from Cape Reinga to Parliament will be taken. At issue is the government's plan to sell down state assets. We just don't want our country uh, sold to or controlled by foreign companies. He hikoi hei whakahe i te hokonga o ngā rawa o Aotearoa ki ngā ringa ringa o Tāwahi. Thousands of people gathered in central Auckland today to protest against the government's planned asset sales. The protesters, including politicians from Labour, the Green Party and Mana, marched up Queen Street chanting anti-government slogans. More protests are planned when the hikoi arrives in Wellington. We are sick of this government and the people that walk through the corridors of this house selling off the future of our hukapu. Now we will not sit down any longer. Māori are being called to march against what's being labelled the sell-off of Aotearoa. Asset sales and foreign land ownership are at the heart of a hikoi which will set off from Cape Leinga on Tuesday, heading for Parliament. We don't support what's going on in mining or on offshore drilling because the policy is against the people's interest and it's massively in favour of a minority and overseas interest. A hikoi protesting against government plans for a partial sale of state assets is set to head to Parliament shortly. Well, I guess what we wanted to do is to make this issue so politically toxic to the national government that they're going to have to walk away from it. You know, it's, uh, the opposition parties don't have the numbers to stop it, so we've bounced it out of the Parliament into the court of public opinion, and so the citizens can stand up and have their say and, and uh, demand that the government take action. Protesters are vowing to keep fighting against asset sales after zeroing in on the people in power. But Prime Minister John Key is refusing to back down as the hikoi reached Wellington 11 days after leaving Cape Reinga. There are a range of different groups participating in this hikoi, protesting a number of different issues. Members of the, the Mana Party, uh, Greenpeace activists and iwi members are all here. They've all united uh, under one message, under one name, and that is the Aotearoa Not For Sale hikoi. They came in their thousands, clogging up the streets. Led by the young, their message was clear. Save our land! Fight back! We must look after our mountains, our rivers, our assets, because without those things we cease to exist as an identity. An identity they fear could end up in foreign hands. This is what they're opposing. The government's proposal to partially sell off state-owned assets, including four power companies and a sell-down in the stake in New Zealand. Other issues include deep sea oil drilling, mining, and the sale of the Crafer farms. These assets belong to all of us, John Key. They're not yours to sell. This is not about the politics. This is not about the parties. This is about the people. All the other is not for sale. Tell John Key to go to hell. Wellington finally ending here in Parliament. Many have high hopes that their display of people power will force policy change. How many people did they have? Okay, where was it? <laughs>